हेलो गाइस शुभम यह सो एज आई सेड बिफोर वी यूजुअली मेक वीडियोस ऑन सम यूनिक एंड न्यू रोम्स व्हिच आर न्यूली लॉन्च इन द मार्केट स्पेशली इन द पोको एफ वन डेवलपमेंट सेंटर दीज रोम्स आर यूनिक इन देयर ओन एस्पेक्ट्स लाइक गेमिंग परफॉर्मेंस यूजर इंटरफेस कस्टमाइजेशंस एंड व्हाट सो नॉन सो टुडे अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू व्यू सच रोम व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज द हाइकोन ओएस एंड आल्सो दिस इज समथिंग न्यू इन द मार्केट So without any further ado let's get into this video So at the very first time let's look into the system and about information going toward the setting under the about section as you can see that this is running on the Hikun OS which is of latest version this is the entry level rom recently launched in the market which is running on uh, its very own kernel the latest security patch of 5th of may 2021 also android 11 is direct 2 moving further in the system settings you will get all the generic system settings such as gestures quick camera one navigation bar gesture where you will get two single and also the gesture navigation two Also, you can customize the pill and all the other stuff regarding gesture navigation. So that's pretty cool. Moving further, there is also an option of three finger swipe screenshot, which you can just enable and have gesture of three finger screenshot without any issues. Moving further, quick touch where you can press the power button and you will get quick touch. Power menu where you will get the advanced reboot option. such as recovery reboot to system and all the other stuff so moving further there is also developer options where you will all a whole lot of developer options which you get in other roms too you will also get the system updater from where you can officially update your rom and download the updated package and flash it without any issues so let's now move towards the hikun customizations or features so there is a customization panel which is called as hikun hub Going towards the Hikun Hub, you will get a whole lot of options. Heading towards the very first one, it's the themes one, where you will get a whole lot of actions and also some features where you can completely customize colors and all the other options in the theme itself. Regarding dark theme and all the other themes, you can just change it without any issues, and every option works perfectly fine. Just like other generic ROMs, customization options are included in a whole lot of bunch. moving towards the lock screen clock then you will get whole lot of different lock screen clock itself and you will you can set any one of them and you will have the lock screen clock itself this is some fluid os rom kind of clock and all the other styles such as one plus some c++ code style this is something a uh, logo of linux inside which clock is there and all the other stuff so moving further there is also headline and body font which your body font you will like you can just skip it by default it just seems that google sans is set in the rom itself so google sans is not shown in the selection and all the other options such as icon shape you can change the icon shape whichever you want status bar icon style whichever icon style you want as you can see this is something different i have set right now There are some five to six options, and you can enable any one of them. Moving further, there is something J Visual Mode, where you can just set the length, height, and everything of the status bar as per your preferences. Moving towards the volume panel style and all the other stuff, custom header where you can just skip some custom header like you get in ROMs like Bootleggers. Also, it used to have in Resurrection Remix and all the other highly customizable ROMs. There are a lot of custom header options, and you can select any one of them. Also, it will give option to keep your custom header, where you can just skip a bunch of images of your choice from a gallery itself. Going further about QS style style, then you will get different types of styles in terms of QS style. I must say that the ROM is fully customizable. Each and every aspect of the ROM is customizable, and you can have a great. experience by just changing themes and shifting colors and playing with them every day if you want and if you want to experience something new going further in the status bar option you will get different status bar options 4g icon and all the other stuff going further in quick settings then you will get adjusting the height size and all the other things 
going further in buttons then you will get different options about button such as playback control where you can just control your music using volume buttons notifications where you will have all the notification option always on lock screen and all the other stuff are included in this options too going further this is always on display option which you can enable from here itself going towards the miscellaneous setting then you will get all the other miscellaneous settings such as navigation pulse where you can just visualize the music on the navigation bar itself this is fingerprint animation but this sadly works on phones like redmi k20 pro which will have in built in fingerprint scanner Unfortunately, Poco F1 doesn't own that, so yeah, this option doesn't work on it. So these are some of the options which are included in the customizations itself. Going further, this is some kind of Loti animation, as I said before in the Corvus OS video, that this is some kind of updated Loti animation, and this looks pretty fine and cool. You can just tap on it to pause and start itself. This looks cool, and it will give something fresh look to your ROM. So these Loti animations work superbly fine and no jitters and lags were found itself. Going further scrolling from the quick settings panel, you will get a whole lot of options. As usual you get in other ROMs too. You can just drag on any of the tile and set the way you want. This is something always on display tile, as always on display option is hard to find in ROM itself. So you can just drag the tile and you can enable or disable as per a choice. So here you go and you will get all, always on display. Make sure that your battery life will be consumed more when you keep always on display and your battery life will differ from the which I will show now. You will also get FPS information where you can just see the FPS while you play games and you can keep track that how good your game performs. All the other options inside the tiles look pretty fine and cool. No issues were found and you can just select any one of them from there itself. Going towards the launcher setting then this is the generic pixel launcher I guess and you will get all the settings inside it. Home settings where you will get suggestions options and all the other options such as notification dots etc. Everything is working. Going towards the wallpaper you will get a whole bunch of wallpaper inside the ROM too. You can keep any one of them as per a choice. Going towards the styles there is nothing much to discover and grade too. You will get all these options just to get in other custom ROMs itself. All the generic options which off of Android 11 such as selecting the text from the task manager itself and also taking screenshot of the particular task going on. Everything works superbly fine and no issues were found in Android 11 specific features too. So that's all customization are included in this ROM. There are a whole lot of customization and you can customize the ROM the way you want. Now let's just talk about the gaming performance in this ROM. So talking about the gaming performance then sadly searching inside settings there was no gaming mode found by me. Kind of sad but no need to worry. We can just test any of the game. Also as I shown you it is also got FPS information so we can just see how much FPS it's getting counted. And for testing we will play Call of Duty Mobile and let's see how our game plays go. So this is the Call of Duty Mobile and I am playing on almost 50 to 60 FPS as you can see in the FPS information on the left top corner. And as you can see that the gaming performance is pretty smooth and lag free. The frame rate is fluctuating in 15 to 60 almost. And this is the proof that the gameplay is superbly fine and stable and no issues were found while playing games too. Now here comes our CTS or safety net check bypass. Voila, congratulations, you will get safety net check out of the box itself just like other ROMs too. So yes, that means you can use any of the banking applications or online payment applications without any issues. Which are Google Pay, Phone Pay, some banking applications such as Zap Pay, HDFC Bank and all the other applications. So no need to worry to flash magic scan huge magic hide or something as everything else works pretty fine and smooth. You can use phone pay, paytm, google pay and all the other applications which are of banking base without any issues. So let's move towards the battery performance of this ROM. So moving towards the battery performance, I got about 6 to 7 hours of screen on time on playing some 2 to 3 gameplays of call of duty mobile. 
watching some series and anime and using some social media applications like whatsapp instagram etc the battery life may also extend up to 8 hours if you don't use much of your phone and you just use for some normal stuff thermal profiles also work fine you just have to enable thermal profiles and you are good to go so in terms of battery this rom is superb and you can rely on it for entire day if you charge 100% just once and this rom will go entire day without any issues now let's move towards the dirac and gcam as you know that Dirac or Mi sound enhancer is nothing but such kind of sound enhancer just like audio effects which just enhances our sound such as drumming bass and all the other stuff very perfectly and we just enjoy that sound. So yes, Mi, Mi sound enhancer or Dirac works pretty much fine and stable. Talking about the camera then you will get this generic camera app installed in the ROM itself out of the box. With list options and you will not get anything much to customize. But you don't have to worry as we got you covered with the Gcam 8.2. So Gcam 8.2 can be installed in this ROM without any issue just like we installed in other ROM where you will get 60fps video recording and also a whole lot of options in terms of photography. You can customize this camera app the way you want as per your photo and video preferences and you are good to go. The 1x and 2x zoom toggle works perfectly fine. And no lag so jitter were found while switching to camera to video and video to camera and all the other options. You can adjust to 4K, 60fps or 30fps and FHD too. So yeah in terms of camera, this ROM is perfectly fine when you are using Gcam 8.2. Now let's move towards the conclusion. So my final words for this ROM. This ROM is not something special as you expect but this is the entry level ROM and being an entry level this work is awesome. For me some entry level ROMs are something where you will get a whole lot of bugs and somehow it will just black out screen or give some issues while using it. But using this ROM I never felt that this ROM is something new and this is the initial version. Haiko Noise and its community doing it best and kudos to the community they added every customization every animation they could and the rom works superbly fine talking about the daily usage then you can rely on the rom and you can use it as a daily driver without any issues i didn't face any type of lag or any type of jitter lag in the entire usage of this rom and i have used this rom for more than one week so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such content upcoming until then see you again in the next one happy flashing until the next time